a warm welcome for everyone to the session number 10 in the part of react learning series it is often necessary to fetch a list of records like either list of employees or list of products or list of posts from the data store and handle them in our applications in this session we will understand how do we deal with list of objects in react to understand things in practical let's open index.js file from a demo project using visual studio code so we'll go ahead and create an array of employee objects i have the list of employee objects available handy and i'm pasting it here as we can see here this array employees has three objects where each object has details of an employee like employee id name location and salary now our requirement is we have to read the data from this array and we have to display these employee details in order to do that we will go ahead and create a component and in this example we will create our component as a function component so let's go ahead and create a function and we'll name it as display employees and this function will be accepting a parameter through which we will receive this list of employees as we know that to a component we can pass data through properties and assuming that this array of employees will be passed to this display employees component through a property whose name is employee list so let us access that array of employees from the function parameter so we say const emp list is equals to props dot employee list this emp list has a list of employees we have to navigate through this list read the data from each element of this list and display the employee details we loop through this list using javascript map function and we assign the outcome of that map function to a variable name let's say list elements emp list dot we use map function to promote code reusability and to make unit testing better we will keep the presentation component separate that means we will create another function component to which we will pass this employee object and that component returns a div container in which we will be displaying the employee details so let's go ahead and create that function it's a function employee and even this function will be having its own properties which will be passed and from this function we'll return a div container and let's apply an inline style to this div using style is equals to and the way how we apply an inline style in react is we use double curly brackets and let's try to apply border we'll give 3px solid and let's say red is the color which we wanted and within this div container that is display the employee details so we start with displaying employee id paragraph tag label assuming that the employee object is passed to this component through a property named as data so we access that using props dot data dot id assuming that id is the property and let's repeat the same for employee name location and salary and now we are done with displaying the employee details now let us call this employee component within the map method of display employees component so we say employee and to this employee component we will be passing the employee object through a property called as data curly brackets emp and next it is important to pass key to each element within this map method keys help react identify which items have changed are added or removed most oftenly we would be using ids from our data as the key so now we go and add that key is equals to emp dot id now we can return the contents of this list elements from our display employees component so we say return let's create a div return the contents of this list elements now let us go ahead and call this display employees component by passing the list of objects we say const element is equals to display employees and we will pass the list of objects through a property named as employee list and we can render this element into our root container
let's save these changes and let us navigate to the browser and we can see that the employee details are displayed. In this example, we have tried understanding how do we display list of employees. As part of that, we have created employee component which display the employee details and we have created display employees component which will be calling that employee component for every record of the array. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.